Hello there, I'm Winsy. I'm CJ. And you're listening to Telebaba Tapes. Tapes. Hello, so this is our second episode. Yes, episode two. We're going to talk about Alone Together. It's a movie directed by Antoinette Hadaone, starring Liza Soberano and Enrique Hill. And related to that, we're going mm-hmm. to discuss college versus the real world. Yes. So yeah, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, uh, pause nyo muna to. <laughs> or... Pahinga na lang nila kung napanood na nila. Pwede din. Or pwede rin, parang ikaw. Yeah. <laughs> Pahinga nila kahit hindi pa nila napapanood. Oh, kasi I particularly like spoilers. She's very weird. I'm very weird. Anyway, so a quick synopsis of the movie. So it's a love story set mm-hmm. in mostly in UP Diliman. Pero parang three parts siya, di ba? UP, New York, and National Museum. So, it's about Tin and Raf. Tin is Liza and Raf is Enrique Hill. So, basically, college sweetheart sila. Tin, Liza's character, is mm-hmm. studying arts management. Parang ganun, art studies. Art studies. She's trying hard, very hard, to mm-hmm. land a job in a prestigious museum. Mm-hmm. Yun yung dream niya. Gusto Whether yung in the Philippines or abroad. Pero parang yung dream niya, ano, di ba? Mag... Maging archives director sa Met. Yun. Tapos eventually, nakagraduate. She graduated magna cum laude. Si Raf na iwan, hindi nakagraduate. He's studying medicine. Yes. Yun. Tapos, the movie was cut na parang five years after na, ba? And then suddenly, nag-flip yung, yung kanilang fates at you'd see that after five years, si Tin, hindi siya successful. And si Raph, parang nag... Uh, Do we say why? Yeah, yeah. We can just... Because she got embroiled in a... Parang fraud. Parang nagnakaw yung... Boss. Financial Tapos fraud. Tapos parang naging accomplice rin, siya. Sa first job niya, napahamak siya. At iniwan siya nung supposedly boss niya. And took all the money. And she ended up with her office mate who saved her ass. Yes. So she's in debt. And para makabayad siya, naging jowa niya si Greg. The indie actor guy. Yeah, played really by good. Luis Alandi. Favorite yeah, I mo like rin, Jay. I love him. Yeah. But you would like him better in Never Not Love You. Pero galing niya, no? Nagsishift siya ng characterization, mm. di ba? Tapos in contrary, si Raph, sobrang... Yung hindi yung akala yung akalain mong hindi gagraduate biglang nag-receive ng parang 10 outstanding young men award yon so biglang achieved ano na siya achievement high achieving doctor na siya tapos jowa niya na si Jasmine Curtis logi na lang ano no other girls si Jasmine How would you describe uh, Jasmine Curtis's usual role the other girl, you know, she's perfect girl, or she's yung, yung she's not Isa Calzado. Yung bagong Isa Calzado. I hope she gets newer kinds of roles. Or maybe, di ba, I told you before, parang I have an idea for like an indie rom com, How about her side, the side of the girlfriend, the side of the ano? The other girl, the, the movie. The other girl, the movie. But anyway, yon. Ayon, so. Basically, nag-switch yung ano nila, yung, in, kumaga yung turn of events, nag-iba, kahit magna cum laude si Tin, siya yung hindi ganun ka-successful, si Raph, biglang, wow, successful. And eventually, they realize they still love each other. Ayun, tos, if, basta parang struggle siya, diba? Parang, so, if you were to phrase it oh. in such a way as, I love you, but, what is the big but here? I love you, but... I love you, but we're both in serious relationships already. I love you, but I'm not... I'm not my greatest self. That, parang nahi, I, I love you, but nahihiya ako sa'yo kasi hindi pa ako yung person that I want to be. That's coming from Liza's perspective. Oo, uh, uh, parang ganun. Mm. I, have, I gotta ask, mm. what struck you most about the movie? 
Siyempre, the settings. Yung tatlong setting. Na UP, National Museum, and New York. Para three of my most ano, favorite or cherished places on earth. Can you tell us more about your life in UP before? Well, isa pa yun. Nakaka-relate rin ako sa character ni Tin. Kasi I feel like when I was in college, nagmamadali din ako. Gusto ko na magtrabaho. Ayaw mo na mag-aaral. Hindi naman. I liked learning. I liked the classes. But I feel like I need to graduate on time. And I have to graduate with honors. Yun talaga yung, yung goal ko. Kaya nga, ano eh, di ba, anong sabi ni Raph? Gagraduate ka on time, tapos running for magna ka ba? Totoong ta ako ba? So, natawa ako kasi parang, um, nagawa ko naman yun. Nag, nag, nakagraduate naman ako on time. Tapos, thank God, nagraduate din ako na magna. Are you saying maraming super seniors nun sa college? Ano yun eh? First year mo palang alam mo nang may expose ka na na may mga tao talagang nag-overstay. Di ba may joke nga na ano, mag na nine years, tsaka sumasampung taon na sa college. Ang ah, grabe naman yan. Ito, uh, konting digression lang. Mm. You told me also before, may mga, speaking of Raph's character, who's mm-hmm. played by Enrique, sinabi mo sa akin before, hindi mo masyadong maintindihan yung mga taong Pagkatapos sila mag-graduate ng college, mag-aaral ulit sila. Tapos mm-hmm. mag-aaral ulit. Hanggang mga 10 years na sila nag-aaral, hindi pa rin sila nagahanap ng trabaho. Ikaw, di ba nag, ano, nag-aaral ka sa Vancouver for a year? Why? Actually, tanongin na lang kita. Ba't ka nag-aaral? Nagtrabaho naman ako for yes. 10 years yeah. na. Okay. Diba? So, I needed to upgrade my skills. So, to update yourself. Yeah. Actually, ang hindi ko maintindihan is yung kakatapos silang ng college just may panibagong course pero ngayon now that we're talking about it napaisip ako baka yung initial course nila it's is something they don't really want to do kumaga maybe some people just figure it out after four years pero ako siguro how long is too long Kasi may mga kilala ko, 10 years na nag-aaral eh. And then after that, they do another doctoral or a master's Very degree. different or parang ina-expand nila yung specialty nila? Expand, uh, either expand or the same course. Na feeling ko na parang, at one, ako lang naman. Mm-hmm. At one point, you should stop, stop learning and do start work. doing work. Yeah. Starting, start to get paid. Actually yon isa pa yun sa hindi ko rin maintindihan. Kasi parang, if you're going to study again, sino gabayad? Parents. Uh, well, I guess kasi nag, I, kick, I come from a family na hindi naman kami ganun ka yaman. Yung iaaral ko for the next, for another course, ibibigay ko na yung pang tuition ko sa kapatid ko, ba So, alam mo yun, mer- I think, kaya hindi ko maintindihan. Tapos, since short yung money namin, or hindi man short, but it's finite, I have to be decisive with what I want. Kung, kung baga parang college, kailangan gusto ko talaga yung kukunin ko. I think some people are privileged to have that kind of choice. Kaya I guess hindi ko siya maintindihan kasi malayo yun sa, sa alam kong kind of life. Yeah. Another thing that struck you, you told me was, mm. the flip of fates between the two characters. Kung mga nagbago yung Mm-mm. kung sino mas successful sa kanila, di ba? In college and in real life. Uh, the flip of fates, actually, natuwa ako dun sa, in terms of narrative because nakikita mo dun yung kahit i-perfect mo yung college, kahit magna ka, it does not guarantee success. And I think, I mean, I can, I can only speak for myself as a very nerdy person, hindi ko rin, hindi ako maka-empathize sa mga happy-go-lucky. As in, minsan na, di ba pag group work, ano ba, ano na, seryoso na, gawin na natin yung project. Ba't ka ba naglolo ko pa dyan? Ba't ka nag-make ng jokes? So, are you saying, ayaw mo maging groupmate <laughs> yung character ni Enrique, si Raf? Medyo tanggap ko ng, sa bawat class, may makakaklase akong ganun. Tapos, i-expect ko na na, okay, I'd have to do his work. <laughs> oh, more or less, before then, ako, I, oh. I'd share that sentiment with you na oh. hindi ko maintindihan yung mga ganong klaseng mm-hmm. tao. Pero, 
as I got to know more people of different persuasions, different mm. beliefs, different personalities. Oh. Mas naintindihan ko na sila ngayon. O oh, sige, why? Some people kasi they just want fun in life. Eh. Happiness nila is really having fun experiences and hindi sila serious about life. And As, I think that's also a reward in itself. Eh. So Kung hindi ka masyadong seryoso. Person, yeah, it's not about the destination. It's the journey. Mm-mm. Which actually naalala ko rin sa movie na yan na very timely kasi diba si, eventually si Liza hindi siya successful or not as successful as she expected herself to be naalala ko dyan yung New Yorker art New Yorker or New York Times article about how women best ma- uh, let's say, females best males in school but in the real world mas madaling ma-promote yung mga lalaki, mas nagiging boss sila. Yung girls, nagiging slow and uh, perfectionist sila. Hindi nila ilalabas, hindi sila mag express ng something until perfect siya. Na hindi na realize na sa real world, kasi sino mauna, yung mga guys kasi parang, o oh, sige, kahit hindi ko masyadong alam yung sinasabi ko, I will act that way and I'll eventually win it. May ganong ano, yung mga yung grit, yung fake it till you make it. Mas ganun yung mga lalaki. Daw, Para based on data. It, just doing it. Oo, um, based on data yan. I'm not, it, this isn't my opinion. So, so, the question that we want to uh, ask ourselves is... That brings us to the question. Does college prepare you for the real world? Oh, your turn. Ikaw my turn. Oo. Ako ang sagot ko, does college prepare you for the real world? Mm. After thinking about it. Mm. I could say yes and no, but that's... Mm. That's not helpful. So, <laughs> ang sagot ko is, it's not supposed to. Kasi, Kumbaga nothing yun... can prepare you for real life, oh. honestly. Kumbaga, you really have to jump. So, are you saying, we shouldn't expect college to prepare us? No, yes, exactly. Ah, Kasi, okay. kunwari kahit maka-apat na degrees ka na, mm. Pagka tungtong mo sa trabaho, iba pa rin. Uh, iba pa rin. Ang daming challenges talaga with any new job that you face. Na and, hindi mawaaral sa... Oo eh. Kumbaga dapat, for me, it's all about the application of what you learned. Mm. Siguro it half prepares you, but it doesn't fully prepare you. My answer is no. Interesting. Bakit? Yeah, it, you know when you're so frustrated at work and then you go back and visit your school, you feel relaxed. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I I brought you to the Ateneo College, diba? And you also brought me to UP. Yeah, so I always have that feeling that when I go back to UP, I am relaxed and parang wala akong pressure or burden. Wala kang pressure noon. Sabi mo sa akin, gusto mo mag magna cum laude, medyo malaking pressure yun na. Ah. Yeah, pero kahit na gusto ko mag magna cum laude, kung nare mababa yung grade ko sa math one, yung yung idea na babawi ako or next sem gagaling ako na lang. Sa real world duwa ng ganon ni, eh, di ba? Eto ano mas gusto mo? Oh. Nagaaral o nagtatrabaho? Nagtatrabaho. Kasi may sweldo. Oo, kasi may sweldo. Sabi ko Oo, na number ba? one yun, kasi may sweldo. Kung bagay hard work mo may kapalit. A plus or magandang salary? Siyempre magandang salary. ba? Pero actually, yun din naman yung isang downside ng salary. Pwedeng you do B plus work lang, pero same salary kaya nung A plus person. Diba? Iba siya, iba yung structure ng real world. And yun. And I think um, college does not prepare you for the real world because it College teaches us perfection. Tinuturo niyang mag-obsess tayo for, sa being correct or being right. Eh, sa real world, ang kailangan, brave ka more than you're right. Interesting. Sige nga, go on. Kasi di ba pag sa real world, st- string of ano yan eh, failures. It's either you brave it out and then eventually you'll succeed or wala ka talaga magagawa. Na I think sa character ni Raph sa movie, hindi masyadong achiever, hindi perfect students. I think sila yung mas magsasucceed sa real world kasi sanay sila sa failure. Galing! Or sanay sila sa rejection, sanay sila sa... 
Palpak ako ngayon. Okay, gawin natin ulit. Kaya ko to. As compared to Liza's character, Tin, yung... na parang idealized lahat para yeah. sa kanya. Na parang, actually, hindi siya sanay sa failure. And yung fact na, yung the first try, nakuha mo na. It is counterintuitive in learning. Which I think, in address naman nung character arc niya. Kasi sa huli, nag-apply siya sa maraming jobs na mm-hmm. bottom man talaga, bottom position. ba? Diba? Mm. Tapos, may mga re- jobs na nag-reject sa kanya. Mm-mm. May mga museums na nag-reject sa kanya. Hanggang sa may, nakahanap, may nahanap siyang opening na, na sinabi na, kanya, sige, pagbibigyan. Hindi nga naniwala eh, pagbibigyan ka namin. Oo, kahit na meron kang fraud case. Oo. Tsaka, if, in, hindi sa amin na maliit ko yung struggle niya. I mean, di ba? Ilang million yung... Two ba? million Parang yata. Parang two million eh. yung, yung fraud case niya. Pero in essence, titignan mo, parang isang point yun sa lifetime niya na nagkamali siya. Tapos it took her like, what, five years? Di ba parang hindi siya nakarecover? Mm. Na parang dahil sa isang failure na yun, she was so hard on herself. Versus let's say yung character ni Raph na he probably failed a lot of times. So siya, he kept on trying. He, and eventually, I think life is a string of failures and heartaches and rejection na you have to get used to. Beautiful insight. Yun, that's the real world. Tapos yun nga, walang graduation sa real world, di ba? Well, kung mamatay ka, graduation na <laughs> Walang graduation na ano, na okay, at this time, dahil na-achieve mo ito, sasabitan ka ta ng medalya. Tama. Wala, walang graduation na ganun. Ah, retirement. Retirement mm. mo sa company na nagtagal ka. Kung ganun ka, kung company man ka. Yun na yung graduation mo. Or promotion. Promotion. Baka promotion. Pero yun nga, yung promotion mo, hindi rin yung structured na, oh, pag nalampas sa may four years, graduate ka na. ba diba sometimes promotion takes like what? Eight years? I guess in college, mas structured talaga yung oh, reality mo kasi yeah. may semester, may year, Mm-mm. may graduation. Kung baga Mm-mm. parang alinis, no? Yeah. Sa life, isang mahabang tuloy-tuloy na confusing time lang eh no so for me again hindi college does not prepare you for that kind of real life so with that being said mm. what subject do you think should be taught in colleges to prepare you more for real life anong kulang ng colleges na sa curriculum nila na kailangang tingin mo ituro since ikaw yung nagtanong baka feeling ka wen ka nang naisip na sagot diyan Nasa mukha ko ba? Uh-oh. Na may sagot na ako. <laughs> ako isa lang talaga. Uh-oh. Ako, whether ano pa mang course mo. Mm. Medicine, library sciences, anthropology. Mm. Sana ituro yung financial literacy. As in, graded talaga na, na course. Ah. Mm. Ah, sorry, graded na class. Hindi siya elective. Mm. Sana ituro yung how to save up money. Mm-hmm. How to read bills, how to set up a bank forms, account, ganyan. Oo, how to Tax. understand taxes. Tapos graded ka talaga na seryoso. O makakatulong yun kay Liza, ay kay Tim, di ba? Kung merong financial literacy, she would have known she Yung was being embroiled. Bro- embroiled, tama ba? Mm. She's being embroiled in a tax fraud or like a f- financial fraud case. O nga, no? I think... Dapat ituro din yung how to build relationships with people you work with. Client relationship. Parang gano'n. It covers, let's say, paano mag-negotiate. Paano maging makastrike ng fair deal. Uy, maganda yun. Yung mga gano'n, yung politics. Diba? Or, and even, even, yun na, pricing your work. Price, giving cost estimates. That's part of it. Diba? Giving timelines. Yun. Tama, dapat ituro. Setting expectations. Although, I think sa mga business schools, tinuturo yan. Is Pero it, you're saying across the board, eh. Ituro across sa the lahat. board. O, oh, even to... I mean, imagine if a graphic designer knows how to to give a quote. Imagine mo, di ba yung graphic design, most of the time, akala ng tao free yan. So, how would a graphic designer actually tell someone who inquires na, hey, my work is not free. 
in a nice way. Or how do you say na you're busy or no to a project? Yeah, I think that... Pero question, hindi ba natututunan yan as you go along? I think there are certain personalities that, that yun nga, wini-wing mo yun eh. You, you, nagiging parang you learn it as you go along, as you make mistakes. Pero yun nga, kumaga na, ja, na, na dehado ka na once, kaya ka natuto. Versus prepared ka coming in. Baka yun rin yung sinasabi mo kanina na sa college, mas kayo yung failure, it's a simulation eh. Oo. Versus sa in trabaho, gravity, no? in real life. Not just in your work ah. Even in your marriage or yeah. wi- in your uh, friendships. Mm-mm. When you fail, totoo yung consequences. No? Hindi siya C plus or D sa papel. Oh, sige. Can you expand on that? Kasi naiintindihan ko yung failure in the corporate or workplace. Pero paano yung failure in in human relationships? Hindi ka parang hindi siya parang D in health or D in <laughs> marriage. Oh, man. Totoo na na parang ayan, iiwan ka ng spouse mo. At or mag-hospital ka at magbabayad ka ng ganito kalaking bills. At saka hindi mo pwedeng hindi ka pwedeng makaawa sa spouse mo na, "Uy, next time pagbigyan mo ko, I will improve." Or hindi ka pwede magpakaawa kay God na sabihin mo yung liver ko, ibalik mo sa... Sa susunod na sem, ano na, hindi na ako iinom. Oo. Ganun. Wala na. Pero yun nga, damage is done, kumbaga. The damage is done. Oo. Okay, so yun. that wraps up our episode. Sana may nabigay naman kaming okay na insight sa inyo kahit papano <laughs> so yes we're inviting everyone to watch Alone, Alone together, together directed by the magnificent magnificent <laughs> magnificent director Antoinette Hadaone starring Liza Soberano and Enrique Hill who gives such an amazing performance here yeah grabe no mm. hindi na namin sasabihin kung paano panoorin nyo na lang Basta, ang galing nung transition niya nung <laughs> mula college siya na medyo totoy Nakakatawa siya umiyak, no? Oo, ang galing nung pag-iyak Oo, niya. Oo, hysterical siya nung college. Tapos, nung ano na, nung mature na, hindi. Diba? Oo. Yun. Tsaka, ganda, 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 ganda ni Liza. Every time. And the New York sequence deserves to be watched on the big screen. Yeah. You will see the Van Gogh in the Spolarium. So, imagine seeing the Spolarium actually bigger than the actual Spolarium in the big screen. Diba? Ganda-ganda nun. Ganda. Yun. So, also, if you have time, do visit the National Museum in yes, Manila. Yes, yes. We're telling you, it's gonna be worth your time. Napakaganda po. And let's support... Support local museums. And I think that's one of the big messages of the movie, right? Oh, let's support uh-huh. our painters, our illustrators, our artists, our musicians... To stay here. And, to stay here and not go abroad. Yeah, and make art here. Maganda din yung sinabi ni, ni Tin na we should never forget. Never forget our history. Okay, that wraps up our episode for today. Episode 2, Alone Together and Whether College Prepares You for the Real World. Hope you enjoyed. If you like our podcast, we're on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. Just search Telebaba Tapes. For updates, please subscribe. You can also email us topics that you want us to talk about, thetelebabatapes at gmail.com or tweet us. My handle is CJ De Silva. And my handle is at Wincy Aquino with the hashtag Telebaba Tapes. See, See you next, next episode. episode.